Well, today is the day. It's five minutes after I recorded the last video, as you might expect. It's the Portuguese League Cup final. Villafranquez have never won a trophy in their life. The Portuguese, like, sixth division in the 80s. That's the best thing they've ever won. We've got them in a League Cup final. Let's not mess it up. We're changing the formation completely. I know I'd go from rags to riches. Not completely, I lie. Just slight changes based on the last game of what I think will work best for the team, yeah? You've got to remember I'm in charge. I have to learn and make these weird decisions. Annoyingly, Pelagio is injured and Ilya is knackered. So our two most experienced midfielders really are out of this game. This is what I think the lineup's going to be. Socrates Jr. It's a bit of a mystery as as so far as of how to get the best out of him. This is what I'm going to go with today. We're actually going to move him on defend to cover this area a little bit better. Tactical thinking. It's now or never. Unless we can somehow win the Portuguese League, not going to happen, or win the Euro Conference League, there's a good chance we will never win a trophy at Villa Franquez. Today, being in the final of a competition, I mean, it's obviously our biggest chance. The opponents, Porto, the kings of Portuguese football. Our record against them isn't great. We won on camera last year with Guionzi and a man getting the goals. Hopefully that can happen again. But as a whole, they do tend to beat us quite badly, actually. But maybe this new formation is just the tonic we need in order to get ahead of them. Oh, it's a big day. We've done well to get here. Portuguese League Cup, out of all the competitions in the world, is maybe the easiest to get to the final two. You win a group stage, which is usually against rubbish teams, and then you just have to win a semi-final, or if you like us, um, bottle a semi-final, but then still win on penalties. Nobody expects us to play well, go and play without pressure. It's a Porto team on form. It's a Porto team on very good form, sadly, looking at that. But, off the back of beating Benfica, we're confident. We are very confident. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got seven regions playing. Our team is so young. I suddenly feel very unprepared for this, having a bunch of children out there. New system. Not a new system, just a slightly different shape to an existing system. It's the same big map. You fucking idiot. I was going to say it's the same big map that you know and love. Just an extra layer of bun in the middle. But while saying that, it looks like we've given away a penalty nine minutes in. I mean, the one thing you don't want to do, yeah, a keeper can make a mistake. We can cock up. To give away a penalty so blatant ten minutes in is just naive. And it's probably why you shouldn't play a bunch of children. Penalties were obviously good for us last episode. How about this episode? Refer How about this episode? Yes! Diego Martins makes the save! Here we go. Makes up for his many mistakes last episode where he was absolutely terrible with that. One thing I do want to do, I've just remembered. Oh, it's another save by Martins. The man's unstoppable. I want to change our corner kick taker because Socrates Jr. is six foot four, kept taking him last time. They've, but the highlight is still ongoing. Another save by Diego Martins! He's making this his day. He's on a 7.8, 11 minutes in. Why are the highlights still coming? How bad are we at defending corners? Another save by Diego Martins. Four saves in a minute. The man is out of control. Thomas Asteves whips it in and they've scored. Brilliant. You make all those saves, Diego. You don't save a five yard out header. Bollocks. I'm panicking now. Like, I don't want to suddenly make loads of changes and be like, oh no, change this, this, this and this. But if the system's not working, how long do you leave it? Because you can't, you don't really want to wait till you're two 0 down, do you? And this system is not working. It's not working at all. Thirty-five minutes in, we've hardly mustered a chance. Mustered. Right, we're going to change back to the old reliable. Tactical changes made. Let's see if they have an impact. And let's also demand a little bit more from the boys. I know we said there's no pressure, but. I mean, this will not do. This is the game of their lives. This is the game of the club's history. Don't go 2-0 down just before half-time. I mean, they're finding this very easy. Ref, half-time maybe? Should be half-time. DeMarco, well played. Should be half-time, referee. Legally, look at the minute. Look at the minute. Oh, they put it wide. And that is going to be half-time. A dreadful first half for Villafranquez. Absolutely dreadful. This is the team talk of our lives. I'm going to pump the fists. And say, you guys know that wasn't good enough. No one's motivated. We considered doing this last episode. I think we did do it for a few minutes. And it didn't work. But we're going to try it again. Because against these big teams, we always struggle. Last episode was a bit of an outlier. So I feel it's almost a little bit foolish 
to not try something different. Yes, possibly a cup final isn't the place to try something different, but you don't know unless you try. And in fact, I'm going to take Thomas Jonas off and bring Colho on. I feel like we should have started Colho. He's the club captain, he's an experienced head. That was a mistake by me. But 30 seconds to him being on the pitch, is this finally a highlight for us? And I'll tell you, across to Blanco. I mean, that is shifty. Blanco, why would you run? Best player at the club, my ass. He's going to square it. You've left the square completely open. And Tiago Martins crouches down to pick up a ball that's not even there. Ronald Blanco, by the way. Do you remember? Oh, this is... A Oh, this is centre back Atletico Madrid and Napoli won. They're sitting there laughing at him. It's absolute lack of pace. Who's this? Don't be Miguel Silva. Is it Colho? Oh, experienced head. Absolutely dreadful defending. Thiago, he's, he's, he's picking up a goose egg. He's picking up a goose egg when he should be trying to stop. I was overexcited going into this game. I just recorded the Benfica episode, which was a lovely old time. Enjoyed recording it, all of that sort of stuff. Oh, just do this straight away. I should have had a breather. I should have had lunch. I should have had something instead of going straight into it and embarrassing ourselves like this. First cup final in the club's history. Oh my god, they probably won't invite us to another one even if we get there by um, by merit. He's off. He's got to be off. That was so easy. Please say he's offside. Right, he is offside. 3-0 uh, is unsurmountable. 2-0 we can do something with. He better actually be offside. If he's not actually offside, I feel like an idiot. He is offside. Right, we're changing to this. We're, bring, we're, we're playing with a sweeper. It's all I can think to make the difference. Get another defender on because we're being cut through like... We're being cut like a bloody hot knife with butter, whatever the saying is. How far offside was it? Miles. Absolutely. They had two players offside. They should take away a goal for that. Make me dream. Just score a goal soon and make me dream that something can happen. I mean, time is piddling away. We have let ourselves down today massively. And you can say that I've let the team down, but you would be wrong. Very attacking. Come on, give me a highlight. We score from this, it's game on. Seem a bit open, actually, all of a sudden, now that I think about it, without a right wing back, now that we're being attacked down the right. Suddenly feel like there's a gap. Thomas Estevez, good block, Miguel Silva. Right, I mean, that was the highlight. That was what made me dream. Come on, score here, score here, take it to penalties. Penalties, it's anyone's game. Miggy Silva, whip it in, blocked, Mane Mane. Whip it in. Good ball. DeMarco. Hang on a minute. He's not. He's never. He's never. He's never offside. This isn't happening. He's not offside. He was not offside. Who do they think was offside? Who was offside? Who was offside? Gionzi didn't score. Gionzi didn't score. Ignore. Ignore. Where's DeMarco? This is DeMarco, the goal scorer. Yeah? That's where he is when that ball's played. Does it come off Gionzi at any point, everyone? No, 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 it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Why has that been ruled out? We would have won this game. We would have won this game if that wasn't ruled out. Sounds far-fetched, I know, but these Porto players crumble like a rich tea biscuit in a hot cup of tea. Piss off, whoever this is. Pavel, you are a joker. You are a joker. Oh, at least we've seen a lovely volley. Why was that goal ruled out? Can anyone tell me why that goal was ruled out? Marcello? No, didn't think so. Rio de Janeiro man? Didn't think so. Christ! At least the only redeemer is this bloody volley from Sergio. I am furious. This, this means nothing apparently, this Jesus piece. Well, what a way to start the beginning of the end of the disciple. That could have been us in our funky white and red tracksuit. Instead it's this lot. Paying referees, <laughs> cheaters, <laughs> gimps, the lot of ya. Fuck off. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a waste of resources. What an absolute waste. There's me, wondering what could have been. Back in my shelter I go. It was a fun start to this week. Be honest, I'm just I'm just glad of uh, we've just made 400 k So who's the real winner? Not us. Quite clearly Porter. In terms of when you next see us, I think we will get to here. We'll probably play the first leg of the Euro Conference knockouts. We've got Slavia Prague in that. We've actually signed about three players from Slavia Prague, such as Pavel. Um, and judging on his performance today, we should have left him there and then we'd have more chance of winning. Um, but we'll probably play Lexios next and the second leg against Slavia Prague. Look at this run of look at this run of games we've got at some point. That's just in Portuguese terms, that is absolutely horrific. 
But if you didn't enjoy the video, look, did we? I was overexcited. I'll admit that. I'll take the, I'll take full responsibility for the loss. If the board want to sack me, sack me. He's walked for less. Him, <laughs> not him. Although he did walk quite often to get the fish and the wine. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and look. Could we win the Euro Conference League? Probably not. Arriva Stay safe.